Welcome back to another Monday online drummer.com drum lesson. I'm Nate Brown. In this drum lesson, you'll need the sheet music called the E's and U's of drum fills. You can get that at online drummer.com and the link below. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out Chart Topping Drum Fills the 60s through today and Chart Topping Drum Beats the 60s through today. These are both method books, and that means it takes you from beginner skills all the way through advanced. But it does it in a fun way, showing you hundreds of examples of how those techniques are used in chart topping songs from the 60s through today. And if you're not a paperback fan, they're also available as an ebook. You can download that right now and print it. This lesson focuses on the E's and U's of drum fills. And basically, uh, the example that I gave you is a syncopated linear drum fill. When you emphasize the E's and U's in a groove, it makes the groove syncopated because they're normally not um, emphasized. The grooves on this page use the bass drum and the snare drum to emphasize the E and the uh, And the snare drum is used because it naturally stands out with its attack. And the bass drum has that thump. It stands out as well. So we'll start with number one. Number one, the fill starts on beat three. The two slashes at the beginning means you're just playing time. Three and four and one and two and... This is a linear fill because no two drums are hitting at the same time. I'll count it. Three, E, and, a, uh, four, E, and, a. Uh. The hi-hat hits on all the ands. Three, E, and, a, uh, four, E, and, a. Uh. And. And the E is always played on the bass drum and the A uh is always on the snare. I'll speed that up a little bit and play it with the groove. Number two is a variation of this groove. It's actually the same hand pattern. We're just taking out the toms and replacing them with the snare stroke. I'll play that once. You can hear this is less syncopated because now we have that snare stroke on beat two as well. But we also have the E, or I'm sorry, the uh, two, a uh, one. One E and a uh, two E and a. Uh. Right, kick, right, left. Right, kick, right, left. I'll play that along with a groove. So you can hear that syncopation is still there with the E on the bass drum and the first uh, snare stroke. Number three combines both numbers one and two and just places it next to each other for a full measure drum fill. I'll play that. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, three E and a. And make sure that last a uh is brought out. You don't want to make it like a ghost stroke too quiet because uh, we're trying to emphasize the E and the a uh for the syncopation. I hope you have fun with these fills and this hand pattern. And start thinking about the E's and U's in your drum fills to add more syncopation. Have a great week of drums and make sure you visit OnlineDrummer.com for all kinds of new stuff throughout the week. Keep drumming.